Walk inside O'Smiley's Dolls and Collectibles. This is my wall of doll. <laughs> and you'll find a wonderland of classic toys. This is what I consider the doll room. Owner Sherry Smiley has shelves of dolls that these days are in high demand. You know, the 80s Barbies. You're seeing an increase in the early Cabbage Patch Kids. Mom. Sherry says Gen Xers are now seeking the toys of their youth. We start to reflect what the best times in our lives were. Um, those are the toys that we go after. In the original box, some are worth hundreds of dollars. Among them, 1970s Barbies, 1980s Cabbage Patch dolls, early American Girl dolls, Chrissy and Dawn dolls, African American Christy dolls, African American dolls in general. Melrose Cross is glad she kept her daughter's dolls. When she brings her little girl to visit, she gets to play with them. Margie Schultz with dollclubs.com believes people working at home all day have sparked the new interest. I think that those who still have jobs are buying like crazy. Toys for boys are hot too. If you didn't tear the legs off your G.I. Joe or He-Man. He-Man and G.I. Joe sometimes right now sell more than the Star Wars. Meantime, Hot Wheels from the 1970s are another hot collectible. This one's a 1970 Camaro. That one's $80. The key with any vintage item is condition and scarcity. If it's a Harry Potter item with millions of them out there, it's probably not going to be that valuable. The same is true for the hottest collectible of all right now, vintage cards. Some early Pokemon cards from 1997 through 99 have sold for thousands. And baseball cards are on fire too. A card like this, worth thousands of dollars. That's a Pete Rose rookie card owned by Dean Hanley of Dean's Cards. Some of these expensive high-end cards like Mickey Mantle, Babe Ruth, they're five and ten times what they were a year ago. But Dean cautions that rarity and condition are key. If millions were made, we're looking at you, Funko Pops and recent Star Wars toys. Yours may only be worth a few bucks. And it's true, a Mickey Mantle rookie baseball card sold for $5 million this year, so check those closets. You don't waste your money.